week. I am Artist of the Week on Beatport. Uh, this month, uh, SOMA is Label of the Month, and we are celebrating by doing a special crate digging thing. <laughs> and we are here at HHV in Berlin. So, first of all, I wanted to show you what I've found straight away which is the, the Radiohead album, A Moon Shape Pool. It came out last year and it's probably like one of my favorite albums to arrive probably in the last three years. It is super special and so special I had to buy the whole huge box set and it's in my collection and pretty much unopened as well. I'm kind of, you know, want to keep it like perfect edition. Um, my favorite track is Dex Dark and it kind of reminds me of sort of electronic mixed with, I suppose, indie, um, but it also has, yeah, this kind of grunge feel as well, which I really like. And it also has kind of post-punk references. It kind of references a lot with each and every track. It has its uh, special way. And most people have their own special, like, most people have their own favorites too. So if you haven't listened to this, you really need to check it out. recent album and it's dripping acid but there's four vinyls so the other two might be lurking around somewhere and yeah I'm really kind of digging acid at the moment um, I'm going to be bringing in TV3 to my live set soon so I've been listening to a lot of old acid, new acid and um, yeah I really like what Tim Man does so check this out if you're into that kind of vibe too also um his collaboration with Cassie Gray is also worth checking out. So, yeah, good find today. <laughs> I just found the Rhythm is Rhythm, Strings of Life. Uh, it's obviously a repress on Transmat. This is one of my all-time favorite records. Uh, one of those records that if I hadn't listened to it for about, I don't know, a couple of years and I'll play it and I, it just gives me goosebumps and makes me pretty emotional. And it's a reminder of why I like techno so much or love techno, I should say, and why I DJ and it's down to records like this. And then I found, yeah, this was Canada. LP and it's actually one that I have on my iPhone and it's something that I listen to when I'm traveling a lot. I pretty much have three or four of their albums and it just relaxes me on the plane and I've had no sleep, it can help me sleep a little bit. Not to say it's boring or anything. It's very interesting. He they um, yeah they sample a lot of children like it's really weird. Yeah, as you can say, music has the rights to children. So you have all these little children speaking and yeah, the cover is really weird too. Um, but yeah, I really like this. And this my new album that's coming, it kind of, I wouldn't say it's influenced by it, but it definitely listening to the melodies and how they structure their, their songs, it, it definitely kind of inspired me. In a way, I wouldn't say so much as an influence, but it was a kind of an inspiration to then make some other stuff, which is now coming on the album in the, in the next month or so. So yeah, you can have a listen to that. Um, 